I was having some trouble seeing the back side of the house. It was so overcast, and then it was starting to get dark as well on that first day. So I had to come back the next day and finish up the back side of the house. Quote IQ has teamed up with the window cleaning resource to give away a window cleaning business starter kit. All you have to do is download Quote IQ on the Apple or the Google Play Store, and you have to become a premium or platinum subscriber to be entered to win. Be sure to check out the WCR for all your window cleaning needs. We are going to be announcing the winner on August 1st. This house wash is not like very extensive. There wasn't a bunch of mildew. She had just moved into the house, and so there was a lot of cobwebs, especially under like the carport area. Um, and then under the back side. So she just wanted to get all the cobwebs knocked off, all the dirt. You will see me use a little bit of bleach on the window seals because there was a little bit of mildew um, build up on the window seals. So yes, that was the extent of the bleach that I used for this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and answer some frequently asked questions real quick. Uh, how a lot of people ask me, especially new people to the channel, um, do I use my, do I use the customer's water or do I bring my own water? I use the customer's water and I, it's not even, I don't even have to ask them to use their water. It's just more so understood that I'm going to be using their water. And I think for some people who aren't in the business, it's kind of hard for them to understand. And then also people ask me why I go back and forth with the service cleaner. I do that because if I had a higher GPM unit, which means the, my pressure washer would be putting out more gallons per minute, it would be quicker for me to do the service cleaning however I do that so that way it hits it twice so I go forward and then I go backwards and then I move over that way it hit, it's hitting it twice it's taking off more dirt and that way I don't have to move as slow when I'm going forward so if I had a higher GPM pressure washer I could go quicker but that's why I go back and forth during this job unfortunately my ball bat my ball valve broke ball valve is the thing that goes in between the hose and um, and the pressure washing gun or the service cleaner. And so it allows me to switch from the pressure, the service cleaner and the hoe and the pressure washing gun, excuse me. It allows me to switch from the pressure washing gun to the service cleaner without turning off the water. Um, so it's incredibly useful and it broke. So unfortunately, every time I switched over, I had to turn off the water. <laughs> so we're going to get a new one for the next video. So as you guys can see right here is the before a slow motor clip from earlier. And you guys are about to see the after and how clean everything came out. There's the after the problem. Sometimes I can't do before and after pictures at the end of every video because the afters don't look as good until the concrete is completely dry. And you can see how clear and white everything came out.